Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about searching duplicate cases in Pega. Let's get started in the topic. So what is this uh, duplicate case? So when we are creating an application, there are many users who tries to call your representative or who tries to access your case management and create cases. So there are some users like who creates uh, with the same data so that uh, they might be in a scenario like okay if this request goes off another request will be there as a safer side so due to which you are ending up creating uh, of uh, duplicate cases for the same customer so it's like customer intention uh, might be wrong so we have to determine or we have to find a way whether there is a another case with the same values and we have to stop a uh, user to create that so how do you do that basically to determine a duplicate case there are two things called as basic condition weighted condition what is that about and how we configure is all about this video so i am switching to app studio under case types i am going to registration case and you can see I have added a shape called as search duplicate cases. So in this step, if you click, click on more. And this is one of the OTB feature given by Pega. Just search duplicate case. You can select this and click select. You can now add a duplicate case step over here. As I have already added this, it is showing like this. So here, if you see I have already configured this but I am deleting this just to show about this video. So this is a basic condition if you can see here add basic condition click on this and uh, so suppose you first you want to see whether if user is giving same label then you want to invoke this uh, duplicate search functionality this is the base condition. So if uh, you, you if you want to use the same property you can give the same otherwise you can give like uh, is equal to something and here if you click on select values you go for here select values select another field or existing values and select another value and here I can give as label click submit click ok so this is the basic condition once basic condition is executed then only weighted conditions comes up you can see here basic condition and weighted condition some at least so i have a scenario like these three conditions so these three might be the probabilities to determine whether this is a duplicate case or not so i am giving some weighted conditions to it So if I do want to determine like if this score is something then I want to show a pop up to the user like see these are the possibility mismatch and uh, these are the possibility matches this is already found in one of the case that is already created so if you do you want to continue or not a pop up will be shown to the user. So here if you see I have given uh, this particular condition with the score 20, 40, 10 but I want to see like if this is score weighted condition score is around 30 then I want to determine this as a duplicate case I can give 30 if it is 50 I can give this 50. So how to add this weighted condition just click on add weighted condition and this is weight you can see here between 0 to 100 you can give I am giving some 10 again or which property I have to check suppose if it is urgency then if urgency is around 10 for this case then I want to determine like that I can just go directly here and you can see here 10 so 20 40 10 10 this is around 80 so when creating a case if at least this and this ticks up like matches then we can determine this is a duplicate or if this one and these two uh, becomes true then then that won't be a duplicate case for the user so because we have specified already that weighted condition score should match to 50 okay and you can give an audit note as well like uh, uh, found another case with 
salaries so in this way you can uh, determine or search for the duplicate cases so this is one of the frequently asked uh, in the scenario based interview questions so you have to be familiar with this such duplicate cases functionality you try this and your runtime and you check and provide your comments to this video thanks for watching this video please follow the steps subscribe share like and comment